In this video, I'll be showing you the new My Settings feature. My Settings allows you to take your CDJ and Rekordbox preferences anywhere you go. You can load them into a USB device and set them up on any CDJ2000 Nexus you use. To set them up, go into Rekordbox and hit Preferences, then hit Export. Here you will find a further five tabs which each contain settings for customising your CDJs. The first three tabs, Category, Sort and Column, are all for how the music is displayed on the CDJ. Category allows you to customise how you can search for your music. You can add each of the categories by moving them to the active categories on the right. To remove them, just move them back to inactive categories on the left. This will then add them to the categories that can be used to search for music on your CDJ. Next, Sort allows you to choose how your music will be arranged within the categories. Say you have chosen to categorise your music by track name, you can then hit Menu on the CDJ and choose another Sort option. This will then allow you to sort the list of track names either alphabetically, by rating, or by any other sort option you have set within My Settings. They are selected in the same way as categories, so you can add or remove the sort options you want. When in Track View on a CDJ, as well as viewing the track name, you can now see an extra column. This can be useful if you need to see additional information. Setting the second column is as simple as clicking on the drop-down menu and choosing the option you want. If you want to use the key indicator, you have to set key as the additional column. The final tab is My Settings. These settings can be seen as playback settings. Play mode allows you to choose between continuous and single modes. If a track's playing and you're in continuous mode, once it reaches the end of that track, it will automatically skip through into the next track. If you're in single mode, it won't do this. Single mode is ideal for scratching, as when you go to the end of the track, it won't skip into the next track. The CDJ no longer has a load lock or reject lock button. It can be set here within record box. Once active, you'll need to pause the track before you can eject the disc or load a new track. Auto Cue automatically sets a cue point at the beginning of the track. Changing the Auto Cue level changes how loud the track has to be before it will set that cue point. This is handy if some of your tracks have a lot of sound before the first kick. You can also set for the Auto Cue to set the first memory point as the cue point. When pressing the Slip Mode button on the CDJ, every feature that Slip Mode works with will flash. Here you can set it on or off. When linked over a LAN network, the CDJ2000 Nexus platter will illuminate red when playing out loud and white for when it's not. You can set this feature by choosing on or off. The platter light can be set between off, dark and bright here. Jog indicator flashes the platter light during the last 30 seconds of the playing track. If you do not want this feature, simply hit off. The disc slot illuminator can also be set to off, dark and bright. This is handy for DJing in dark places. Here you can set the language in case you're using CDJs in different countries. Now onto the LCD screen. You can set its brightness here, 1 being the lowest and 5 being the brightest. You can also set the time display to automatically display remaining or elapsed time. The auto cue can be switched to on or off, and this will override the previous setting for the auto cue level. The jog mode can be changed between CDJ mode and vinyl mode. CDJ mode means that wherever you touch the platter it will only jog the track, whereas vinyl mode means that you can touch the platter on the side for jog or touch the top and treat it like vinyl, allowing you to spin the track backwards or forwards. You can change the tempo setting between plus or minus 6, 10 or 16% or set it to wide which is 100%. This allows for greater or finer pitch adjustment. The last three options allow you to set the master tempo, quantize features and the sync feature on or off. Now that you have customised all of your settings, you need to export them to your device. This can be done in a number of ways. Above all of the settings options, you can choose to apply on all devices automatically. If you have this set, Whenever you make changes to the settings, they will update automatically on any device connected. If you do not have the automatic setting applied, but want to update the My Settings Preferences, just go to Preferences, click Export, then My Settings, then click on Apply to All Devices. This will export the settings file to any USB stick or SD card connected to your computer. Now you've exported your settings to your device, you want to load them onto your CDJ. So, simply insert the device and then a message will pop up asking if we want to load these settings. So we can hit menu and then hit load. And now they've been loaded to the player. If you have one or more CDJs connected via link and you want to load your My Settings information across to that one, press the link button and it will show you the My Settings data has been found. Obviously you can just click menu again and load as normal. If you've got more than one device attached to the original deck, you'll see both of those devices here in the screen. And when you scroll to the other one, if there's My Settings data, you'll see the pop-up here saying it's found it. So again, just menu and load. Alternatively, if you do not use USB or SD memory devices, you can connect Rekordbox to Link. Once you have this connected, on the My Settings tab within Preferences, you will see icons for each CDJ connected. You can simply click on it to load the settings in. 
When using your CDJ and you want to change one of your settings, you can save it back to the device. Simply hit browse, then menu, and then scroll to save, and that's now saved back into the device. If you're making changes to your My Settings information on a deck you've got linked, say you're in the SD card, for example, and you make the change there, when you save it back, it will only save it back into the SD card. You can also go back into the link screen to show the available devices. You can scroll to that device and you can save the changes back onto that device as well. It will only save the changes to the device you're currently working from. So now you've saved the changes to the device, you'll need to re-import them into Rekordbox. Connect the device to your computer, go to Devices, then click on your device. It will then prompt you that a My Settings file created by the DJ player has been found. Click Yes or Update Rekordbox. If you have your CDJs connected via link, then when you change your settings, they'll automatically update the preferences within Rekordbox. With the huge range of features available on the CDJ2000 Nexus, setting up your preferences can be a difficult task just before you're set. My Settings allows you to save and instantly recall all of your most used preferences. This means you can take them with you anywhere around the world and use them on any CDJ2000 Nexus.